For me personally, Jane Pratt here at Jane Radio, he was nice to me. He was only ever nice to me. Sorry, <laughs> just take a second. I have um, defended him so much, and I'm so happy that I have publicly defended Michael Jackson. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I love that he here it's serious. I don't even get the tissues. I get a toilet paper roll. <laughs> Thank you for that, Teresa. Um, but I um, yeah, I I had I got to spend um a few days with him at uh, Neverland Ranch, and he was um just a very much a gentleman and very very kind to me and I related to him a lot and um and I'm very proud that I always did defend him um both to friends and people that would say negative things I would always stand up for him and then publicly too when I was at Neverland one of the things that I saw was there were there were a lot of kids there um I think some of them were were kids who had, had who had illnesses that he was um, that were staying there with their parents. And um, and there was a lot of him playing with these kids. And it was interesting to watch him because he would play with them as though he was a kid himself. Like he really, he would be playing with these uh, 8, 9, 10, 11-year-old boys, and it was as though he was one himself. For example, I, um, and I was like the grown-up. So at one point they were, they were having, um, he had climbed up in a tree and then they were they were having then they climbed back down they were having a water balloon fight and Michael Jackson who's like you know what f- 5 years older than me or something he came running um and ran around behind me and you can and and you know how a kid will do where they hide behind the grown up he grabbed onto my legs just like almost the way my daughter Charlotte will hold onto my leg when she's insecure or whatever but he grabbed me b- behind my legs and was like peeking out to for me to shield him from the water balloons that the boys were throwing at him does this make sense and then he had one and he was throwing it back at them and he was laughing and just having such a fun time and so were they and there was a lot of um riding around in these golf carts they were doing that and going on the rides at the amusement park and going to the zoo. We did all these things. But but really the vibe I got was that he really was like one of them. And so, I, so I've always felt he was stunted in his emotional development. He, wa- he was like their age, and that's who he really related to. And he talked to me like I was the lady in the room. I was the grown-up in the room, you know, and they were all the kids. That's anyway my take. This is Jane Pratt here at Jane Radio.